Hi everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, January 20th. The political landscape in Washington is being reshuffled today. That's in the wake of yesterday's stunning win by Republican Scott Brown in the special Massachusetts election to fill the seat of the late Senator Edward Kennedy. Brown's win erases the 60-vote supermajority that enabled Senate Democrats to move legislation through against unified Republican opposition. President Obama reacted today saying he was frustrated by the Democratic loss but can understand the feelings of Massachusetts voters. Senate Democrats were to meet today to discuss how Brown's win will affect the fate of health reform legislation. Analysts say Brown's win was also an indication the public at large is not satisfied with the reform package as it now stands. There are new calls to scrap that plan and try a fresh approach. Republicans are also calling on Congress to halt any further debate on health reform until Brown is seated. That's a process that could take up to 15 days. The man chosen by President Obama to head the Transportation Security Administration has withdrawn from consideration. Errol Southers, a former FBI agent, said he pulled out because his nomination had become a political lightning rod. Southers' nomination had stalled over reports that he misled Congress about a case 20 years ago when he ran FBI background checks on his estranged wife's boyfriend. President Obama sent word today to companies delinquent on their taxes, don't expect to do business with the federal government. Obama signed a regulation that bars new government contracts from companies that have not paid their taxes. The Government Accountability Office says there are thousands of so-called deadbeat companies still receiving federal contracts. Those companies collectively owe more than $5 billion in taxes. And when he was a presidential candidate, Senator John McCain raised eyebrows when he called on then-Alaska Governor Sarah Palin to be his vice presidential running mate. McCain announced today that Palin, who has resigned as Alaska governor, would campaign for McCain's bid for re-election to the Senate. That move raised more eyebrows. You'll recall Palin was critical of McCain's presidential election staff after the loss to the Obama-Biden ticket. Insiders say Palin and McCain have remained on friendly terms. That's your political roundup for Wednesday, January 20th. I'm Leon thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to RTTNews.com for more on these and other political and financial news stories throughout the day.